The Lord has not despised or been disgusted with the plight of the oppressed one. He has not hidden his face from that person. The Lord heard when that oppressed person cried out to him for help. I think right now, right now, society, the way that we treat God is, is if I don't get an answer right now, that I'm abandoned. If I don't hear from you immediately, something's wrong, I'm doing something wrong, I'm not close to you. That's just not how God operates. God, a lot of times in the waiting, we learn some of the biggest lessons that we could ever, ever learn. So the, I think that the a huge, a huge thing that we can practice is looking for Him while we're waiting. The way you look for God is just applying yourself, just spending, spending quality time with Him. And I know we hear that so much, you know, spend your quiet time, make sure you do your quiet. That is so important, you can't hear it enough. Your prayer life is one of, if not the most important thing about your walk with God, communicating with Him. That's communication in any relationship is the, the key to keeping the relationship going. Prayer is not always about getting what we want from God. It's getting what He wants for us from Him. And sometimes that's hard because he, what He wants for us may not always line up with what we want for ourselves, but ultimately what He wants for us is best because He sees the big picture. So I know a lot of times I've, I've approached Him with this whole, that whole instant gratification prayer of, I want this, so can I have it? <laughs> you know, and that's not always, that's not always how He works, so I've had to, condition myself to praying for what He wants from me and asking Him to change me and get my heart ready for what He wants because ultimately what He wants is best.